Good afternoon and welcome to BizTech's Asian Midday Market Watch. Our guest today is Jeff Halley, Senior Market Analyst, Asia Pacific at Wanda. Hi, Jeff. Great Good afternoon. Great to have you on this Tuesday. Hey. Great to have you on the show on Tuesday. Sorry about that. Yeah, wonderful to be here as ever. Now, let's take a quick look at how markets in the region are performing uh, before getting your insights. Um, and we're going to start with the SGX. The SGX is at 3,125.54. It's down 0.64%. Bursa Malaysia is at 1,517.9. It's up 1%. Now, across the region, we've got uh, the Nikkei, which is at 27,552.85. It is up 0.11%. The Shanghai Composite is at 3,500, it's down 0.48%. The Hang Seng is down 0.68% at 26,002. The ASX 200 is at 7,498.8, it's down 1.1%. And rounding up the numbers, we've got the Kospi, which is at 3,148.06, it's down 0.73%. Uh, Jeff, what's your view on market performance this morning? Yeah, look, it's a bit of a funny one. Overnight, Wall Street actually fell quite heavily intraday, and it was only towards the end of the day that it started recovering. So you know, Wall Street uh, finished slightly high with the exception of the NASDAQ, but that was driven by a rotation into defensive stocks. Now we're talking utilities, healthcare, consumer staples, mm -hmm. uh, et cetera. So that's why the Dow Jones and the S&P finished in the green. I, I, th that reflected the nervousness, I believe, that is running around in markets and getting noisier by the day about the impact of this Delta variant of COVID-19 on the uh, already unequal or uneven global recovery. We saw weaker Chinese data yesterday, uh, which also increased those nerves, weaker data on Friday. And I think that theme is weighing on investors today. So we've seen the STI uh, falling today uh, because it has a very high beta to China, of course, and to global yeah. growth. Uh, we saw the Nikkei holding flat. We've seen China give up early gains and actually start moving lower as well. Hong Kong, uh, the Hang Seng's quite a lot lower. And we're seeing that down in Australia as well, uh, that risk off sentiment really weighing on stock markets finally there because cases are keep, keep on going up there. They've had some super spreader events uh, and yeah, cases are rising now in Victoria again and obviously New South Wales. And I think the market is starting to reprice that reality. We also have news from New Zealand that they've had their first community case detected in Auckland. Now it's only one case, but New Zealand's probably been the most successful country in the world uh, at getting uh, rid of COVID-19. And this Delta vi uh, variant is so contagious that has serious implications for the New Zealand market. And we've seen the New Zealand dollar fall very strongly today. Jeff, the other concern that, that came up this morning was China, China's market regulator issued draft rules uh, aimed at stopping unfair competition on the internet space. That's obviously spooked markets again. Doesn't help the, by the fact that the Delta variant, as you correctly pointed out, is in China now and they've shut down a port as well, which spooked markets again. What are your thoughts overall? Because is that going to then um, impact markets very adversely? Well, I'm glad you asked, because if we look at the Hang Seng, it was down about 0.75% the last time I looked, uh, and it had fallen a lot more heavily than the mainland exchanges. Now, the reason for that, I believe, is because a lot of the big uh, China uh, tech heavyweights actually have their main listings on the Hang Seng, and that reflects that. Looking at the actual, um, the well, admittedly English translation of, of, of the paper itself, it is quite nebulous in its detail, which I'm sure the government absolutely deliberately did so that it can interpret it as it, as it wishes. But uh, I think this is yet another piece of evidence that this clampdown on technology, unfair competition, oligopoly or monopolistic behaviour is going to continue uh, in, in China. It won't just be limited, of course, to technology, but uh, that will be on the front line. And how is this going to impact global oil markets because obviously slowing demand in China is an issue, slowing demand across the region in Asia is an issue. Um, what's your view on oil markets? Yeah, look, I don't think technology is the real one here. I think it's the actual consumer demand, the actual physical demand in the real world that we um, 
you know, we have to start worrying about there. I think it all depends on the trajectory of this uh, COVID-19 Delta variant in China. Now, if they get on top of it again, the way they've squashed every other previous small scale outbreak, then I think, you know, oil prices and markets can slight, can start to recover. If it escalates there, like, you know, it does in Australia and we're in a mass lockdown extended situation, then we're going to have to reassess the global growth and that'll be a negative uh, for, for oil prices uh, going, going forward, I think, for the global consumption side of the equation. But I think we really need to watch China and see how the situation evolves there. And Jeff, how about um, data points and events this week? What, are, what should we be looking out for? in a very volatile market right now that would trigger off markets yeah look it's um it's a bit of a tough that one this week because last week was obviously the, the quite a heavyweight sets of data and yep. we've had all the best data for asia this week we've got us retail sales and industrial production tonight now if those retail sales come in uh lower after the empire manufacturing number which came in lower last night from the states consumer confidence on friday then we could be in for a, a leg down in the uh, equity markets should be positive for the dollar probably not going to be great for asian equities or asian currencies regionally we have the bank of indonesia tomorrow it's a holiday here today but uh, we're not expecting them to move sorry it's uh, that's thursday um they'll have one eye on the rupiah uh, and we've got the Reserve Bank in New Zealand tomorrow. Now, a lot of the market have been pricing in a half percent rise, but I think that will be 0.25% for sure now, if it is actually confirmed that we do have this Delta variant now in Auckland, because I'm absolutely sure the New Zealand government's going to go really hard on this, and put the whole country into a strict lockdown. And I think we'll get that announcement later on today. So um, I think a lot of the bullishness and the Kiwi dollar has evaporated like mist uh, because of this. Otherwise, we I would have expected the Kiwi to be probably the outperformer of the week globally. We're also seeing in the currency markets, the Swiss franc and the yen, also haven currencies like the dollar, outperforming. And I think in this background, in a light data week, we're going to see that continue. Jeff, thank you very much uh, for speaking to us today. Always a pleasure, mate. Cheers. Now, we've been speaking to Jeffrey Halley, Senior Market Analyst, Asia Pacific at Awanda, on Vistax Asian Midday Market Watch. I'm Brian Fernandez. Check out our LinkedIn and Facebook pages, as well as our website, www.vistax.asia. Thanks for tuning in.